Hey guys, good morning. So today is September 1st. It is currently 8.04 in the morning. So bright and early on this Monday. Um, but yeah, I'm actually about to get ready to go on a run, start off the day with a workout. I really do not want to, but like today is pretty much the only day. Um, today is pretty much the only day that I'm going to be able to run this week just because I tomorrow I'm getting my nails done in the morning. So I know I'm not going to want to run tomorrow. Tuesday and Wednesday I have to work. Um, and then Thursday I'm on my trip. So if I want to run for a workout, then it needs to be today. Um, and why not just start off the 75 hard with something hard as in running. It's not even hard. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I don't know. I used to love running. I mean, I still do love, like, once I'm doing it, I'll be okay. It's just a getting out the house part that's always the trouble even with like just working out in general like I've never been a person that just loves working out like I don't be wanting to do it but then once I'm doing it I'm like okay cool like I can do it like once I've started so we're about to just go ahead and get the workout y'all I am loving my hair like I love this color um and I went longer I think I told y'all this in my last video I went a little longer again just because I'm going on a trip so I just wanted some inches um but yeah so yeah I'm about to go ahead and run I think I'm going to try to do like maybe um two or three to four miles I've been trying to do at least three miles when I run just because I haven't been running as much um before I was running like I would say like four to five times a week but it kind of like drastically is like the month of august everything pretty much drastically changed because it's hot as hell and like the like the time just doesn't work out as far as when i can get to be able to run before it gets too hot so i haven't been running as much i've only been running like maybe once a week or twice a week mainly on the weekends so when i do run i try to at least run you know long and long for me is just like over three miles or at least three miles i don't necessarily ever think that i would be like a distance distance runner because like i said i like running but i don't like it that much where i could see myself running for like 15 miles like i just don't like working out that much like i feel like after an hour i get bored and right now it takes me about an hour to do four miles so i think i'm just gonna stick with that just stick with doing three to four miles once or twice a week um and then like i've been incorporating weights more so just keep doing that for now i also want to start jump roping again but this is just an unnecessary ramble yeah i just wanted to come and let you guys know that we are about to run i'm drinking um this celsius just to give me some energy um and yeah so we're about to just go ahead and run and then come back get dressed to the day get dressed for the day so we can look presentable because that's one of the things for the 75 um hard um uh, also i'm just keep talking about it like y'all y'all might not have seen my last video which was my august or my september reset where i told you guys that i was going to do the 75 hard so if you have not seen that video definitely go check it out but when i get back i will go over what I'm going to be doing for the 75 hard just in case you haven't seen it but let's go ahead and go on the run so I will see you guys at mile one mile one 1401 not gonna lie this mile was hard as shit it's hot out here already Whew. I don't know if I'm gonna get to four but we're gonna try so let's see y'all at the next mile mile two 1554 or 1454 that was so hard, having to walk a little bit. And now we will run to mile three in a second. I'm just gonna stop at three. That three miles was so difficult, but I did it in a little under 45 minutes. That was the goal, is just to try to do, um, I try to think of it as time. So like three miles under 45 minutes, four miles under an hour, or like right at an hour. So I really did have to push the last mile um or the last like half a mile um just because i kind of walked a little bit in the beginning of 
the two mile like after the two miles i was blocking a bunch so but i'm happy i did it definitely can't push myself another to get a third or to get a fourth mile but i'm okay with the three um so now i'm about to just drink my water and walk home so see you a little later so i am back from the run i have been back for almost probably like two hours now it is currently um currently 11 45 i don't even know if i can see that but it's currently 11 45 um came home from the run i showered i got dressed i just have on nothing special just this um black shirt and these leggings so it kind of looks like a set but it's not um just so i can look presentable i put on a little jewelry i just put on my um bracelet that jamal um had gave me for my birthday i have lashes on i have eyebrows on i'm looking put together okay um but yeah so i did that and then i just finished doing like my bible study or uh, i just watched a sermon and so i did that so that was about an hour so now what i'm about to do is i'm about to actually start my day i'm going to go to starbucks to get me a coffee I'm going to get me a pumpkin cold brew and then I'm going to come home and get to work. I really want to um, edit two YouTube videos today, both the videos for this week, edit the uh, episode three of the Becoming Her series. So that's going to go up tomorrow. And then also my September reset is going to go up Thursday. So I want to edit both of those vlogs or both of those videos today um and then kind of just plan out my um content for september i pretty much have my content for september planned out for youtube um but i kind of want to just plan it out for like my tiktoks and stuff like that uh, and so yeah because i want to start before my tiktoks were like a week behind but i want to start making them more so real time like the week behind was cool but i feel like it's a little bit better with real time because now i have all this content i made last week but i can't really use it because i already started posting about me starting the 75 hard this week and my hair is different so um yeah but anyways that's what i'm about to do but yes so if you haven't watched my september reset which again i highly suggest you watch it i'll link it down below if you haven't checked it out um but i said that i was going to be doing the 75 hard and i am but i'm not going to be doing it the traditional 75 hard way i'll put like the the traditional rules on the side um i'm not going to be doing it that way just because that's just too much for me and i know like I know physically I could do it, but mentally it would just like be too much to have to do that. And I don't want to just do something just to do it. You know what I mean? Like if I'm going to be challenging myself to do something for 75 days. I want to do something that is going to be the best to help me become the best version of me to help me, you know, like I said, just become the best version of me. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, or I'm going to be doing 75 hard my version. So it's still going to be hard because it's still like me working on discipline, working, working on consistency. And that's the things that I'm struggling. So anytime I'm trying to tell myself to do something for 75 days straight consistently, it's going to be difficult because like, you know, like that's one of the things that I'm working on is just being consistent and being disciplined. And I really want to start now, like before versus waiting for 2025 because I feel like now it's getting closer to the end of the year so now is the time where people can kind of like either they get the bug like me where you want to start and just like you don't you want to end off the year strong or you kind of just get complacent and then just you know say oh I'm gonna wait to 2025 and 2025 is gonna be the pepper you probably can see him get back 2025 is gonna be the best year get out the camera you kind of get complacent and just say, oh, 2025 is going to be the best year. And it's like, no, we still have four months left of the year. Like, I still want to end the year strong. And I'm, Pepper, get down. I want to, like, have all of those skills, the discipline, the consistency. Like, I want to have all that down packed so 2025 I can just be just going, you know, just sore. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to still be struggling with consistency, struggling with discipline, struggling with execution. No, I want to get all that out now. So 2025, like I said, it can just be the best year ever. Like, this year has already been an amazing year, and I want to end it off amazingly. So... I did all that yapping. Let me just tell you guys what my um let me tell you guys what my 75 heart is going to be. So 75 oh my gosh, like 
something i put like i'll put it on the screen as well but so for the next 75 days i'll be drinking two liters of water daily i will be doing bible study daily i want to look put together daily so and by looking put together for me it's just like you know how i just have on this black shirt and leggings it looks like a set but just trying to look more presentable even when i'm not leaving the house so just you know wearing like sometimes i just put on like a raggedy um old graphic tee like i don't want to do all that anymore like i want to look presentable even though i'm well i am going to go to starbucks but besides that like i'm not even leaving the house but i still want to look and feel presentable putting on like a bracelet putting on my lashes and my eyebrows just making myself look put together because if i do all of this it'll make me want to not take a nap as well it'll make me want to work versus if i'm just chilling in, in an oversized graphic tee no lashes no eyebrows like i'm gonna be wanting to take a nap i'm gonna be wanting to lay down and chill but if I look together and I look presentable it's gonna make me want to work you know so that's number three number four is going to the gym five days a week and so really for me the gym is gonna be I want to do four hard workouts and one um active recovery workout so the hard workouts would be running going doing weightlifting, jump roping and then like active recovery would be like just walk on the treadmill or something just to get that fifth day because it's usually not hard for me to do four days a week but trying to get that fifth day is so hard for me and i really want to work out five days a week so that's why i'm just going to give myself grace and make the fifth day be something easy um then i want to read 70 pages a week so that's about 10 pages a day but like I said I know realistically I don't know if I could read every single day and I don't want to make this miserable like I want it to be enjoyable and so like I don't necessarily need to read every single day you know but I do want to read so that's why I just gave myself like a weekly goal so like today is my off day I'm actually off tomorrow too but I could read the 70 pages today if I wanted to just sit on the couch and relax read the 70 pages today or read the 70 pages tomorrow while I'm getting my nails done um and you know I'll be good for the rest of the week so that's that I also want to work towards my business daily I want to be doing something I don't have like a specific time because y'all know if y'all watch any of my other previous older vlogs I used to always say I want to try to do 20 hours a week or I used to just put like a specific time on it I don't necessarily have a specific time like each day I want to work on it but I want to do something whether that's market research whether that's um you know planning something like something like it can be something super small it can only take five minutes it could take two hours like but I want to do something for the style district every single day um just because like right now I am in kind of like that rebranding limbo phase and I want this rebrand to happen I want to be able to come back and I'm only only way I'm gonna be able to come back is if I'm making steps so that's that um also posting twice a week on youtube i have been slacking when it comes to posting twice a week i've only been posting about once a week but we're gonna bump that back up to twice a week so and then eating healthy six times a week allowing myself to have one cheat meal per week and also allowing myself to have one coffee like uh cold brew per week um i'm a lot like again i'm giving myself grace here i'm not trying to make it so hard where it's like miserable and like mentally like i'm just i hate it like but i'm trying to do stuff that's going to be realistic and something that i can like realistically keep going on i know it's unrealistic for me to say oh i'm going to be on a strict diet i'm going to eat healthy no cheats ever that's unrealistic for me but six days a week is still very challenging but still allowing myself to have one cheat meal unless i'm going on vacation which i am at the end of the week so obviously those days would be cheat days but um, allowing myself one cheat meal is still like giving myself grace and I feel like this is something that I would want to be able to continue even after the 75 days is just eating healthy six days a week one cheat meal I feel like that's a good balance um, and then allow myself to have like one coffee per week um uh and by coffee i just mean like starbucks like actually paying for coffee um and then posting on tiktok and instagram daily i'm trying to grow my social media platforms because i want to grow my youtube and just grow my personal brand in general um and so i need to be posted to do that because i'm hoping that like during this rebrand period i can be growing my personal brand so then hopefully I can that can kind of help me get more eyes on the style district when it's time to launch the style district um if i talk about it and people are already you know trusting me and then i start promoting my brand they would be able to trust me you know whatever so that is the rules that i'm doing i 
today is again september 1st i know you guys aren't going to be seeing this on september 1st i think this video is going to come out i actually don't even know when it's coming out but it's going to be sometimes after september so i know um it's not going to be the first when you're seeing this but i still encourage you to join do a 75 hard or do like some type of 21 day challenge like my previous i previously did a 21 day challenge and so now i'm doing a 75 hard but just do something that can challenge yourself to be better it doesn't have to be my specific rules find rules or find habits or goals that fit you and what you want to do to make yourself better like don't try to like do anybody else's rules unless it's you know similar you have similar goals and stuff but I would suggest you to find something that you want to work on whether it be three five I have nine things that I want to do like it doesn't it can be as long or as short as you want it but just doing something that can um you know 75 days 20 days 30 days however long you decide that you want to do it for you can look back and say i feel like a better person than when i first started you know so yes that's my little spiel i feel like that was a long little ramble sorry guys y'all know i can be a little chatty patty um um but yeah so i'm about to go get me a coffee i'm gonna get me a cold brew pumpkin cold brew and then like i said come back and edit the video so i probably will chat with y'all a little bit later um uh, after i have like edited the videos and all of that so i'll see y'all a little later Okay guys, so tell me why I went to Starbucks. Y'all saw, got me a pumpkin coffee. I'm like, yay, I'm about to stay up. I'm about to get this work done. I just talked all this crap about how if I get dressed, I get presentable. I'm not gonna take a nap. I'm gonna be able to stay up and get work done. I went and got the coffee, came home. I took like an hour trying to make a TikTok of me editing. Like, so I didn't get any editing done. I have like six seconds. Of editing done because it took me an hour trying to get a TikTok film TikToks of me editing and putting it together the lighting wasn't right and then after that hour sorry I keep moving um the camera after the hour I didn't want to work no more I was tired at that point I had a headache so I needed a nap so I was like hmm let me take a nap so I took a nap so it's currently 3 28 and I have not edited anything like i said i've only edited like six seconds um but i'm up for my nap i really needed that nap though because um i really needed that nap though because i was just exhausted um and i didn't sleep good last night and i typically do take a nap after i run but i, I was trying not to today but it's okay i don't have to work tomorrow i know today is sunday but um today is september 1st tomorrow's labor day so i have off work tomorrow so that's another reason why i just went ahead and took the nap so now I'm up and I'm hungry. I really wanted to make me some noodles, but I'm like, no, this is day one of 75 hard. I can't be having noodles like, you know, like that's not healthy. Like I feel like I have the calories because I haven't ate that much today, but I'm still trying to get out of the habit of saying, oh, I have enough calories. Like, no, I'm still trying to put nutritious stuff in my body. So I'm about to just make a random meal. I have, if y'all hear it popping in the background, I have some bell peppers and onions um, cooking on the stove. I'm gonna cook up this shit. Can't even hold it up. I'm gonna cook up this ground turkey. This is 99% lean, 1% fat. I have 28 grams of protein per serving. And then I have some cauliflower rice in the freezer that I can just throw in the microwave to heat that up. So it's just gonna be cauliflower rice, this ground, ground turkey. I'm gonna season it up real good with the peppers and onions and stuff. So yeah, actually I need to um, make sure this is not burning while I'm like talking to y'all. But yeah so that is what i'm about to eat it's, it's kind of like i don't know if i'm gonna eat again later jamal is not here he went to paul springs with his friends so he won't be back to like possibly seven or eight so i don't even know if he's going to eat before he goes he's probably gonna want to pick up something like i'm not gonna cook at seven or eight so he'll probably end up picking up something so this might be my dinner for tonight or I know it's going to be enough leftover for tomorrow, so I might, like, if there's leftovers, eat some leftovers of it or whatever if I get hungry later. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to come and tell you that, that I'm about to make me some dinner, and then I'm going to um, 
edit the vlog and stuff because that's pretty much the only thing that I really really need to get done is editing and that should only take me like three hours if I lock in about three hours I also do want to paint my toes tonight I want to try to paint my toes tonight um, I keep saying it but I'm going to Atlanta on Thursday so I need my toes done because I'm going to be wearing some open toe like heels and sandals and stuff like that and I was going to at first pay to get my toes done and wear press-ons but I changed my mind I decided to just pay to get my nails done so I'm getting my nails done tomorrow and I'm gonna just try to do my toes myself I feel like I can just paint them they don't have to be perfect perfect like I have some gel polish so I feel like I can make something shape doing it myself um but yeah I just wanted to check in like I feel like it's so relatable to just go get a coffee and then come home and take a nap like girl what well I don't know if it's relatable but like it's the story of my life because I do that a lot sometimes I will go pay buy me a coffee and then come home and take a nap like but I'm ready to work now I'm about to make this food and then get to work so I probably will check in with y'all after I edit this video for real for real Monday morning it's the next day it's 8 13 and I am about to head to the gym um I'm gonna be honest I did not want to work out today but I'm like girl it's day two of your version of 75 hard like you can't be giving up on day two but um yeah I did not want to work out today but I already I know that this is realistically probably gonna be my last workout for this week since I'm going out of town I know tomorrow Tuesdays are like I typically don't work out on Tuesdays because it's just a busy day for me so I can't um and then Wednesday I need to like make sure I'm packed and all that stuff so and then Thursday I go on the trip so I know realistically like this would be the last day of me working out this week and then this week would probably just be just two workouts instead of the five but I knew that going into the 75 hard that the week one would be a little off in terms of eating and working out just because I have uh, my trip and I didn't want to like delay it and say well I'm gonna wait till I get back like no like I'm tired of delaying when I'm gonna start bettering myself like and it needs to happen now so yes I'm just gonna do legs um just probably do like four or five exercises just try to get to at least 30 minutes so 30, 45 minutes, we'll see like how I'm feeling when I'm in there um, and just do like four or five different exercises. I might um, start off with like a warm up mile, walking on the treadmill or doing like a jog to get to a mile and then do the workouts. Um, so, but we'll see. I'll try to bring you guys. I don't know if I'm going to film it just because I don't know if there's going to be people in there. And I'm really trying to be in and out. Um, my nail appointment got moved from 1130 today to 230. So that's cool. That gives me time to actually get this work on it because I probably wouldn't work out if I knew I had my nail appointment. Um, so, yeah, I just want to get this workout in, come home, um, make a healthy breakfast. And I want to do some work for my other job, even though today I'm off technically because it's Labor Day. But I still want to do some work for that job before my nail appointment at 2.30. So I want to try to get started on getting some work done um, until about like 1.30, 1.45-ish before it's time to go. So, yeah. But I'm going to stop rambling. I just wanted to let y'all know we going to work out. We still following the plan. And yes, I don't know if I came back last night, but I was able to edit two vlogs. I edited both vlogs for this week. The vlog that's going up today, which is the Becoming Her Part 3. So if you have not watched the Becoming Her series, definitely watch that. That was, uh, I did 21 days of bettering myself following five habits. Uh, so definitely watch that. That kind of is what got me started on wanting to do like transition to making my own version of like a 75 hard and just elongating the you know journey of bettering myself because like we all should want to better ourselves you know like it don't stop um but yeah so episode three comes out today at nine and then i also uh filmed my september reset which would have been the most recent video before this one so i edited that as well so both of those are up in youtube 
I do still need to make a thumbnail for my September reset, but that's what I really wanted to get done yesterday. So I'm happy that um, I was able to get that done. Y'all know I struggled at first taking a nap halfway through, but it was able to get done. So that's good. So like the main priorities today is just getting this workout in getting some work done for my second job and getting my nails done is like the main main priority i kind of wanted to pack today but i don't think i'm going to but i do <laughs> excuse me need to kind of just make like a packing list so i can try to make sure that i have i know clothing wise i have everything but just like you know like the extra little stuff so yeah but <laughs> my allergies <laughs> Excuse me always acts up in the morning but i'll see you guys probably either if i film my workout i'll see you guys during the workout if not i'll see you guys when i get back from the workout made it to the gym nobody's in here so i guess i will film the little workout this is my apartment gym i don't know if i ever showed y'all i mean yeah, i'm sure y'all saw it, see it from the little clips i film but it's pretty small like i feel like my old apartment gym was a little bigger like it had more stuff kind of i don't know it had different stuff that i used more so yeah but i'm just gonna do let me find the lighting i'm just gonna do a few exercises like i said and yeah like i'm waiting i drank a little sip of my associate so i'm waiting for it to kick in so i can get you know hype this is the workout fit of the day i don't know if y'all can see i have on the leggings today i haven't worn the leggings in forever and then the black top so i feel i feel real skinny like i wish the lighting would show y'all how skinny i really am let me see let me see God, skinny. is that how you really rock really rock off all the blocks okay let me stop but i'm feeling real skinny um but yeah the 21 day transformation did me right okay i lost five pounds and i definitely see it you know five pounds would be like you don't really sound like a lot but i feel like i see the five pounds that i lost and it gave me the confidence boost to like you know keep going but at this point again i'm just rambling because i really don't want to work out but let's get this leg day done so we can move on with the rest of the day You know I got it I pull up, I come round, make my rounds, it's my town I, You know I got it, ayy When I'm round, they sh now, what's up now, this touchdown like. Hey guys, so I'm about to go ahead to get my nails done You can see they look crusty and dusty um, I'll put, if I remember, put the inspo picture on the screen um, But obviously you guys will see what it looks like once we um finish it but excited to get my nails done um and yeah so i'll probably i'll try to vlog on my phone if i can't if not i'll just come back and show you guys like you know the finished product but this is what i have on for today y'all know we get dressed or looking presentable every single day so i just have on this um t-shirt this is from old navy i don't really like this one because it's kind of like flimsy and like i don't know i don't like how the neckline is but whatever and then i just have on these blue jeans and then just a simple black purse and then i did put on my bracelet um that jamal got me for my birthday i don't know where the light is there you go but i'm probably gonna stop well not probably i am gonna stop at target after because i need to get pepper what is the lighting because I need to get Pepper some dog food and I think I'm going to get me some stud earrings. I have bought some from them, but I bought a pack of three and I lost all three. So I think I'm just going to buy another pack of three just so I can have some stud earrings and I might just try to keep them in all the time. Um, so yeah, but I'm about to head on out and I will see you guys or the next time y'all see me, I have <laughs> some new nails. Hey guys so good morning today is 
Tuesday. It feels so weird saying that because like I'm just not going to work today. Um, and I'm not up at the ass crack of dawn because if you've watched my previous videos, y'all know Tuesdays is usually my early days. And I have to like be out the house by 5 a.m. But it is currently 6.15, which I still wanted to leave by 6.15, but neither here nor there. I think I showed my nails, uh, showed a better video of my nails yesterday, but here they are. They're so cute. They're not exactly like the inspo pick or the design for the most part is, but these are a little bit more like pointed. Like, so they're kind of giving me more stiletto vibes, not really like a almond vibes because they're like more pointed but it's cool um i still like them after this i probably will get them like cut shorter you know if i go back for a fill whatever whatever but yes i love getting y'all know i love friendship because i was gonna say i love getting friendship but you already know that if you watch my vlogs because all my press ons for the most part be french tip um and then when they grow out you can like you don't have to go like asap asap because you know it's like a neutral base so when they grow out from afar they don't necessarily look grown out unless you're like super up close but anyways i just wanted to check in with y'all i did not come back after i got my nails done or i don't yeah i didn't come back after i got my nails done i just came home ate dinner and then i just chilled out me and jamal watched saw four we're currently watching the saw series because i think he's only seen up to four so the next few he's never seen before so um we watched Saw 4 last night and then after that I kind of just chilled because I knew I had to come to work. I had to go to work today. So, but I did stop at Target after work. So I'm going to show you real quick what I got. Um, over here. And so quickly I got some jewelry and it was actually on sale. I didn't even know that it was going to be on sale, which I'm so happy that it was because, you know, Target jewelry is a little expensive. So they were $15 each, but they rang up for half off. So that's amazing. But oh, this is like kind of tangled a little bit. But I basically just got a necklace and um, a necklace and a, a, a pack of earrings. So here's a necklace. It is just like, I don't even know if y'all can see, but it's like a heart. Um, but I just needed like a dainty, like everyday necklace. Like y'all said, like I've said, I think earlier in the video, my goal, like, you know, one of my goals for the 75 hard is looking put together and so wearing jewelry and I don't have any like dainty, like everyday type jewelry. So I'm trying to get some because that'll make it easier for me to look put together and want to put on jewelry is if I can just have like some dainty everyday jewelry that is just like no brainer. If I'm wearing silver, I'll put this necklace on. If I'm wearing silver, I usually put my Pandora bracelets on. You know what I mean? And then same with gold, having like a go to set of, OK, if I'm wearing gold jewelry, here's my go to set of gold bracelets, gold earrings, da, 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 you know. So, yeah, I just I don't have like a dainty like everyday type silver necklace all i have is kind of like gaudy necklaces so i just wanted to get like a dainty one so i might even wear this um today but yes actually i don't know now because i got these nails on how i'm even put the jewelry on but yeah so i got this necklace and then i got this pack of earrings because i needed some new studs i don't even know if it's focusing um i don't think it is Oh, there we go so i got this three pack of earrings because i needed some new studs um the last three pack i got from them i freaking lost all of them so um but i like their earrings because they are nickel free so i don't know if that's what be bothering my ears sometimes but um sometimes you know you buy the cheap jewelry and like it kind of would irritate my ears so their earrings don't do that so i really wanted to get just like some studs that i could just keep in my ear 24 7 all the time so i don't lose them or just in general just some studs i can wear every day so um i just got this three pack because i figure if i lose the stud ones i can wear these little gold i mean these little balls or these little pearls whatever so got those two jewelry pieces so that way you know i can start to put together and then i ended up getting two t-shirts so mind you i went there to just to go get pepper stock food end up spending 59 dollars like ugh. 
but so they were having a sale on um like a labor day sale it was like 20 percent off t-shirts so i've got two black shirts of course but these are a little different like i have this black shirt on now that's from target and this one is like fitted i don't know if you can see but this one is like a little bit more like fitted um and i have this in a bunch of colors like i wear all the colors all the time but i saw this one and this one is a little different one it's like weighted like if you can actually feel you can feel that it's like like it's like a weighted i don't want to say weighted but like thicker material um and y'all know i'm all about trying to buy stuff that's a thicker like you know nice thick good material the brand is a new day from target and it's like a flowy top so it's about the same length as like this one just like a um you know everyday top but i like the fact that it's a looser fitting top so i feel like it looks a little dressier like even i tried it on with the black jean or not the black jeans but with the jeans that i had on yesterday and it was just cute like a cute little effortless top and then like if i have my dainty jewelry like a cute little outfit and you're not even doing too much so yes i got this and um i got it i got it i size down i got it in a size large my typical size is an extra large well i only size down because this was on a hat job and then they i don't even know if it came in other colors well actually i do know i know it came in a, a blue color and like a taupe color but they didn't have those colors in my size so i don't know like when these these type of tees came out um because I don't really go to Target that that often. So I don't know when these came out. Um, because they didn't have that many sizes. Like these were the last two black was in the size large. So I just bought the two black larges that they had. And the normal price is $12. But they were on sale. So they were like $9 each. So yeah you can never have too many just like basic tees. Y'all know I'm all about basic tees. And then they're black. So duh I love black. So I just bought two black ones because like i said you can never have too many basic tees especially in the neutral colors so yeah i just got these two black tees and i might actually end up wearing one like i might wear this one of these tees with like um some jeans or something on thursday as like my airport outfit just something simple yet still cute for the airport um but yeah so that's pretty much all i got i'm about to hit, get ready to head to work i'm actually going to be wearing my michael kors bag today at work i typically don't like yeah i don't know if y'all have seen the other bag that i've been wearing to work but that bag's a little bigger just because i was taking so much shit to work but i'm trying to stop taking so much stuff so um yeah and then i know if you watch i think it was like two or three vlogs ago i showed y'all this other purse that i had just bought and i said oh this is gonna be my new everyday bag and then here i go wearing this on but i haven't worn this bag in a long time and i just saw it in my closet and i'm like let me pull out the mk because i haven't worn you in a hot minute like this used to be my everyday bag for like the longest for like over a year like this is the bag i would wear every single day but yes so i'm about to go head off to work um i just wanted to check in with you guys i'm about to fill up my water bottle pack my lunch and then head off to work um but yeah i just wanted to check in for today i probably will talk to you guys when i get back from work i know i have my co-working session when i get back and then i did order some stuff from fashion over yesterday because they had a 50 percent off labor day sale and i had a gift card that i needed to use so i just ordered a few things so i'm hoping that everything fits so i don't have to like return get another gift card keep ordering you know like i just hope that whatever i ordered fits so i'll probably show you guys the stuff that i ordered um later on like today possibly um i've been ordering so much clothes which is so rare because i typically do not like if you watch my videos you know i don't ever show clothing hauls because i don't ever go shopping but i have been doing so much shopping lately uh which i love that for me my pocket doesn't love it but my spirit loves it uh <laughs> i should have saved everything and did like a collective fall haul but yes but i'm gonna stop rambling so i will see you guys when i get home from work tonight hey guys so it is um a little bit later well way later it's about eight o'clock now i just got off my co-working session with my subscriber so really enjoy those hold me accountable to make sure that i am getting work done you know that's one of my goals is to for this 75 day hard my way <laughs> is working on um the style district every single day so proud that i have been doing that for the last um three days 
but yeah i'm actually going to end off the vlog here just because i want tomorrow i'm probably going to start my atlanta vlog when i get off work so i just want all of that like the atlanta vlog to just be one separate than the 75 hard ish vlogs so even though this isn't like a full week of the 75 hard just because um like I'm going out of town so I didn't do like every single thing that I wanted to do as far as like working out eating healthy the full week because I'm not gonna be here the full week so I'm not gonna be working out you know and all that stuff but it's okay I still wanted to like basically just show you guys that even when you have vacations planned even when you have you know life happening that you should still go after your goals you should still attempt like don't put a pause on it and don't say because i could have easily said oh i'm gonna wait until i get back to do the 75 heart i'm gonna wait till i get back to work on myself like no i can still work on myself now i know that i have stuff later on in the week so i'm not going to be able to eat right and you know work on my business i'm not going to be able to do every single thing for the next couple of days while i'm out of town but leading up to it I can still go hard and still you know be my best self so yeah just use this as motivation to just basically just to start like just start anytime it doesn't matter when doesn't matter what you have going on just start um so yeah also I just wanted to tell you guys about the sermon uh, I'm just trying to make these vlogs be more like just motivational and like actually pr provide value and not just like, oh, look at me, you know, like I want to provide some value. So the sermon was the title of the sermon was nothing but a G thing and G was for grace. So like nothing but grace. And it basically followed the second Corinthians um, chapter 12, verse seven through nine. So verse seven says, or because of the suppressingly great revolution revelations, therefore, in order to keep me from becoming conceited i was given a thorn in my flesh a messenger of satan to torment me so basically like from that little verse um this um the pastor talks about how there can be no paradise without pain and how pain is all it's like a part of the process like um talking about like the thorn that was um that was placed in his flesh so just understanding that pain is part of the prosper part of the process and you know how you always hear like no weapon formed against me shall prosper the key word is there will be weapons formed against you okay like it's just that they won't prosper so just don't think of like when you get pain or you get fr or something stops stopping you any type of anything that you would consider be pain so it could be like a, a no you know something physical pain something stopping you from something a denial whatever that could be considered like pain just know that that's part of the process and that no weapon formed against you will prosper. It will form against you, but it's not going to prosper. So pain is part of the process. So don't let pain, any type of pain, doubt, whatever, stop you from continuing on because that's part of um, the process. And so, um, and then verse eight says, three times I pleaded for, uh, three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me and so from that he talks about how he pleaded three times and sometimes we feel as though oh I shouldn't keep asking God for the same thing when it's it's okay to ask him for the same thing if you got to ask him for the same thing 37,000 times like just keep asking for it like don't feel guilty for asking for the same thing or if you feel like oh I always pray for the same things like I always pray over my family that's the same thing and I'm going to continue to pray that every single day all the time is just pray that my family is safe and happy and you know whatever so don't feel bad for praying for the same thing multiple times um and then uh verse nine is but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness therefore i will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that christ's power may rest in me so um basically just saying basically to sum it all up it was just talking about how god god sends thorns to rejuvenate your faith and regulate your flesh and so just understanding that he's sending those thorns to prepare you. So how are you going to catch what God sends if you're not prepared before he sends it? So basically just, you know, all of the pain that you may endure with whatever is just part of the process. So don't let 
any pain or whatever stop you from anything. Just understand that it's part of the process and just use the pain to increase your faith. And yes. But yeah, I'm not the best when it comes to trying to, you know, explain that. Like I'm trying to get better. Sorry, the lighting is kind of bad. I'm trying to get better in terms of like, you know, my faith and being able to explain things like I'm new to this. So bear with me. I know like the heavy Christian people are like probably clenching their pearls like, girl, you're not explaining it right. But if I am struggling to explain it, leave it, leave, you know, better explanations in the comments. Let me know. I will link the sermon down below. Actually, that just reminded me, I think in my last video, I was supposed to link that sermon about fear and I didn't. So I'm going to go add the link to the description box. But yes, I'll link the sermon down below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It seems like you guys are really enjoying this Becoming Her series and just this. I just want you guys to use it as motivation to become your best self. You know, go after what God is calling you to do. Pray. Do things that should, that's going to be difficult, but that's going to improve your life and improve yourself. So yes um until next time the next video will be the atlanta vlog so that'll be fun because y'all know i don't really do much like if you are an og subscriber y'all know i'm always in the house so this would be fun to actually be able to get out the house um and i did get my fashion over package but i don't feel like going upstairs to get it so i will show you guys what i got in the next vlog because I actually, like, the next vlog is just going to be so fun because it's going to be me packing for Atlanta. It's going to be, obviously, me going to Atlanta. And then when I'm there, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of the cute outfits. Like, that's the main reason. Like, I really honestly don't like Atlanta. But the main reason I'm super excited to go is because um, I get to put on real clothes. So I'm excited to show you guys the cute little outfits that I put together um and yeah so i hope you guys like i said enjoyed this video and make sure you guys are subscribed and i will see you guys in the next one peace out